Hi, I'm Zerar from Raptors Republic, and I'm going to continue with the theme of looking at our players against a good defensive team like the Celtics, because that tells us a lot. Today, I'm going to focus on Norman Powell's finishing. First, I'm going to look at his on-the-ball finishing, so basically plays where he's mostly dominating the ball, or has is handling the ball at least, and is attempting to finish at the rim on a drive or something like that. And second, I look at how he does in off-the-ball situations where he's not the primary ball handler, but is catching and driving and things like those. You'll notice that on the ball, he has a lot of work to do, but off the ball, he's an excellent finisher. So he's got one man to beat in this instance, and there's two guys trailing him, but they're not really shot blocking threats right now, so he's got one man to beat. And he goes around him. The mistake he makes is that he jumps a little too early, and as he releases his shot, he's actually coming down, so he doesn't have enough power in it, even though he has the angle, it's, it's not going to work. Similar situation here, he's got one man to beat on the break, except this time he has to worry about shot blocking because Tice is trailing. And look what he does, instead of going to the right and away from the shot blocking, he goes left and into the shot blocking, basically setting up Tice for the block. Sometimes you can do all the right things, but just not have the length and wingspan to finish something. And in this case, that's the case. He does everything right, he uses his offhand, shields the defender off, but just is unable to finish because the defender's defense is still able to contest Norm even in the air in that position, as you can see. Lowry's not going to do him any favors by giving him the ball in this position because against any other team, this is probably two easy points, but against a good defensive team that collapses well and has speed, uh, you know, they're going to recover in this situation, which they do, and Norm doesn't have the athleticism really or the height to finish in these situations, so he's going to look to try to pass it back to Lowry, but the Celtics defense is too good. Sometimes when you know the defense is going to switch on a screen, you still try to use it only because you want to get that burst of speed and maybe get a little edge on the corner, and Norm tries to do that here, but he's unable to against Brown, who's able to cover him all the way, and Norm is forced to take like a weird Kareem Abdul-Jabbar-ish hook shot almost instead of going straight up, and that's because of Brown's defense but the larger point here and I guess not the larger but one of the other points here is that he doesn't even have an outlet to pass to in the corner because Van Vliet's probably in the wrong position on making himself available to Norm but again the idea here is that Norm's stature against good lengthy defensive teams will always result in him struggling to finish against the rim in these situations. This is the play that you'd like to see him finish more because this will always be available even against good defenses. A high screen and roll, turn just a little bit off the corner, you got a slight edge, and you can't allow any defense to recover to block the shot here, and Tice does exactly that here. Also, it doesn't help that he does not have an outlet here. OG probably should be at that spot, rotating as Norm's driving so that uh, he, he presents himself as an option. I find Norm just reads the defense better when he's coming off the ball and doesn't have to worry about ball handling as much. Here, it's almost a handoff situation with Ibaka. He catches it and uses that catch to get that little extra burst of headwind so he has a step on Tatum who's worrying about the screen. Norm also does a good job of reading the defense, knowing that the other defender is not going to switch, so he has a full lane to him. So this recognition, I think, happens because he has more chance to observe the game without having to worry about ball handling. You hear about chemistry a lot, and chemistry to me is two guys being on the same page at all times. And here, Lowry and Norm are communicating throughout this play, and you can see Wanamaker there paying a lot of attention to Lowry. And Norm knows that this is his chance to cut off the ball, which he does. Wanamaker isn't playing great defense here. But I just want to point out that whenever Norm is off the ball, he just has a better chance of like reading the game and reacting to it appropriately than when he's got the ball in his hand. Because it's almost like seeing two different players. It's always a good opportunity to attack the defense when they're in a zone and the ball is on the strong side, but you're on the weak side, which is what Norm is here. You'll see Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart not pay too much attention to where Lowry or Norm is, and they're more focused on the strong side. So as Fred penetrates, this is where Norm is excellent at. He knows when there is a seam to the rim, and he finds that right here and attacks, and Fred finds him for the easy layup. And Norm needs to be given credit for having that desire to attack the rim because not every wing has that. This play is almost identical to what we just saw where you have the defense focusing on the strong side and maybe they're in a zone, I can't really tell. And Norm cuts catching the defense that is paying attention to Lowry and the, he makes him pay. This is, this is Norm at his finest. This happened on the last play as well, but I want to call out special attention on this one. And it's Ibaka. What frees up Norm, yes, is Fred with the ball and him running the pick and roll, but it's Ibaka dropping down into the paint that forces the Celtics to pay more attention to him and less attention to Norm. Any off-the-ball cut, which Norm benefits from a lot, happens because there's something happening on the strong side which the defense is paying attention to, and without that action, Norm's play is not possible. 
So there are certainly cases where he's done great on the ball and done poor off the ball, but generally speaking, his off the ball work is pretty fantastic. The way he reads the game, the way he cuts, the way he notices where defenders are kind of edging towards is very, very good. Uh, it's, it's only when he has the ball and he's going up against sort of a set defense or defense against he doesn't have a great edge on that he sort of struggles. And that's maybe because of his frame at 6'3", he's not a massive guy. And he does get blocked a lot. He does get contested a lot at the rim. So maybe that's that's the area of his game that where he needs to focus on over the next little bit. Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like us to focus on particular aspects of the game, email us at raptorsrepublic at gmail.com or just uh, find me on Twitter at Corner Sniper. Thank you. Goodbye.